Dudes I admire in storytelling, um, Slick Rick is at the top of that list for sure. Um, <clears throat> outside of that, it will have to be Nas, um, Notorious B.I.G. And then um, the name you mentioned earlier, um, Ice Cube, definitely Scarface. I mean, it is um, underrated today, and it's, it's pretty much um, uh, looked past direction and, and, and um, you know, being lyrical, uh, being a writer. You know what I'm saying? A lot of a lot of artists look past it right now. You know what I'm saying? But um, when you when you doing story rhymes, you definitely have to be creative. You know what I'm saying? It's not it's not something rhyming off top of the head. It's not easy as one, two, three, because you gotta. You gotta, you gotta, um, you gotta bring your listeners, your audience, to wherever you want them to bring them, wherever you want to bring them to. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be as cinematic as possible, as visual, visual as possible. So it's, it definitely takes time and thought. And um, if that's lost in the sport of hip hop right now, in the sport of being a rapper and an MC, then that might have a lot to say about where it's at right now. Um, I think where it's at now is just a lot of cats, uh, the younger generation is disconnected from the, um, from the older dudes, you know what I'm saying? So they lost the roots of everything, you know, they lost their identity, you know what I mean? You know, this is why you got, uh, some New York rappers that rap like they from Georgia, you know, and because they just, they following trends now, you know what I'm saying? But New York is known to be, you know, a place of trendsetters. But it lost that. And um, I was able to maintain that because I'm a New Yorker to heart. And I'm from the old school, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and in my school, you know what I'm saying, we, could, we stayed connected to our OGs, you know, our elders, you know what I'm saying? We listened to our elders and respect and respected them. And that's why we was able to stay so, so rooted. It does bother me, but not to a degree where it's, you know, like something, like a constant thing in my everyday life. You know what I mean? It bothers me, like, just the thought of, wow, what's up with New York? You know what I'm saying? We losing, we losing too many steps, baby. We gotta step up. You know what I mean? But every once in a while, we get our shining star to come, you know what I mean? Break through the barricades. I mean, I think very, very highly of um, Joel Ortiz. You know what I mean? And that's a personal, you know, comrade of mine. You know what I mean? That's homie right there. You know what I'm saying? So I you know much props to Joel Ortiz. You know what I'm saying? Very, very talented dude, man. Um, far as the, far as from New York, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not really into Nicki Minaj like that, but she's from New York and she's doing her thing. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, props to Nicki Minaj, you know what I'm saying? I'm just not really so much into current hip-hop right now, you know what I mean? Because my ears ain't tuned into the radio.